to the channel. It's uh, the first week of May. I need to get in the cellar now and go through all my potatoes and figure out which ones I'm going to plant. I'll be putting in 120 pound seed this year and I'd say I will get seven or eight hundred pounds back out of that. So I got to figure out what uh, what I'm going to plant. I got a I got 11, 12 varieties of potato that I can plant and I'm not sure I'm going to plant all of them. Some of them didn't push the right buttons for me, they didn't turn my crankshaft. Some of them are really good, I want to get more. Some of them I just want to grow them because you can't buy them in the stores. You can't buy, you can't buy the seed potato. I got Brigus Blue, you can't buy them. Uh, they're just not commercially available. I got some Lang Blue, they can't be bought. And I got some AC Agriculture Canada Domino, and they're a blue potato, and they're really good. I bought seed for those uh, Lang Blues and Dominoes about uh, three years ago, and I've been keeping them going ever since. Every year I save some seed, so so I got Brigus Blue. I'm gonna I'm gonna plant. That's gonna be my main crop of potato. I'm gonna plant uh, probably forty pounds of Brigus. Uh, my next biggest crop is going to be the Lang Blue. Um, I'm going to plant maybe 20, 25 pounds of those. Then I'm going to plant some Dominoes. Dominoes are a longer season. They're, they're about 120, 130 days. So they're a good storage potato. Gee, what else have I got? I don't know. You'll have to stay tuned and find out, I suppose. Why don't you come with me now? And we'll dart in the cellar and have a look around, see what we got. I'm sure you've all seen my root cellar. There's a video. I put my potatoes away in there seven months ago. Seven months ago. And that cellar has been uh, hovering right around two or three degrees Celsius all winter long. And I haven't been in there now in uh, probably a week or two weeks. So I'm curious to see what it's like in there. Come on, we take a look. Come on, we go and look at the cellar. See what's in there. Come on. Are you coming? Come on. Jeez. Hard bunch. How you getting on? Welcome back to the cellar. We got a few potatoes in here we gotta go through. We got Brigus Blue, we got Lang Blue, we got Domino, we got, oh my, what else do we got? We got Yukon Gold, we got some Gormandine, we got some Red Apple, we got some Warba, we got some Russets, we got some Gold Rush, I got more gold rush than I thought I had. We got some banana fingerling, some more gourmandine. Oh dear, oh dear, we got more potatoes than you can shake the proverbial stick at. We got to get them out and, and break the dormancy and get them Chitting, C-H-I-T-T-I-N-G. We want our potatoes We want our potatoes that currently look like this and we want to get them into some warmer air so that they will begin to look like this So that's what we got to do. Today is a good day to do this because the outside temperature and the inside temperature are pretty much the same. So we're not causing any uh, temperature increase in here in the, in the cellar. It's chilly and it's damp, which is basically what we need in the root cellar. 
So without further ado, let's saw out some potatoes, see what we got. We got our uh, we got our 40 pounds of Brigus Blue picked out, and I just want to show you seven months in the cellar. These went in the cellar in October. I'm going to slice one open and show you. Show you what they looks like. Well. That's just like brand new. Anyway, that's what the Brigus looks like inside. They're a wonderful potato. They're kind of a medium dry potato. And I got 40 pound of them now. Now we're going on to the Lang Blue. And I can't find any information about those potatoes. They don't exist, apparently. So what we're looking for is a uh, half a bucket. And ones like this, ones like this we're going to try to save for food. Because that's the whole reason we're growing them, eh? In the first place. But smaller ones like these, we'll use them for seed. So, it shouldn't be hard to pick out 20 pounds of these because there's lots of them. Very high yielding potato. We got our 20 pounds. 20 pounds of long blue. I got my lang blue put in the crate. I use that bucket again now for me uh, 
Got my damn on. See how many, how many pounds of damn I got. Now it's snowing, look. <laughs> ah, springtime in Newfoundland. You gotta love it. Now I just want to show you what the insides of these ones looks like compared to the Brigus. So you remember the Brigus? Kind of a yellow flesh, white flesh. These ones got a little purple ring around the inside of them. And again, they're pretty, they're pretty solid. Now we'll check out and see how much domino we got. Domino's a longer season potato. Needs about 120 or 130 days to fully mature, but they're, they do grow big and they do yield high. Like, but they're prone to splitting, obviously. You can see by that. Looks like a, looks like a moose knuckle. But they're nice potatoes, so nice size too. And that one, he's a beauty. So let's see, uh, let's see how many pounds we got in there. They're a nice French fry potato too. I want ten pound of those. There's definitely ten pounds of them in there. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Mm we got our ten pound of dominoes, and we got some left over. Make a few french fries out of them later on. Ten and a half pound. And the dominoes. Dominoes got a nice little ring of blue around through them too. That disappears when they cooks. So we got our 40 pound of Briggs Blue, our 20 pound of Lang Blue, and our 10 pound of Domino Blue. Now we got to dig out 30 pound of uh, Warba and several others. So let's try that now. I bought a couple of bags of warba just to freshen up my seed. Some of my seed is uh, some of my seed got a bit of scab in that on. But uh, so I bought two new bags and there's uh I've seen these two kg so four and a half pounds per. So we'll just lay these aside now and dump out that bucket and see what's in there. See what's in that bucket. The potatoes store really well, considering that they were harvested way earlier than the other ones. They are prone to uh, splitting. from inconsistent water. Boy, a lot of scabby old potatoes there. Warbers are nice potatoes too. They're uh, these lovely, uh, really deep eyes, pink eyes, a really good boiling potato. And you can see it won't take much now for them to start, it won't take much for them to start producing uh, eyes on them now. Anyway, I'm not going to bore you with uh, showing you footage of me sorting all them out. I'm just going to put uh, 25 or 30 pounds, whatever I got there. I don't think I got 30 pounds. So I'll just put whatever I got there in a bucket and uh, see how that goes. And uh, we'll take pictures of them later. Okay? What a beautiful day. This is 
tomorrow now, so. Warba is a very high yielding potato. Uh, it's a very early potato. It's actually classified as a very early potato. 75 days maturity date on these. Again, these have been in the cellar seven months. And they are solid as a church. But there's nothing special about them. They're just, uh, i got to leave some eyes on them now. <coughs> From this way. Oh, they're, just, they're hard as a rock. That's Warba. And there's our Warba. We didn't quite get 30 pounds, but that should be plenty. That's enough for two full rows, 30 feet long. So how many, how much did we get? Let's see. Twenty-three point six pounds. So about twenty-two pound. Take off the bucket. We won't get no more. We can't knit them. Uh, we can't. We can't manufacture them. So we get twenty-two. And here's our artillery for this potato growing season. I believe there's 11 different kinds. We got our 40 pound of Brigus Blue, that's the main one. Yep. Blang Blue. Red Apple. Kennebec. They don't tell you what kind of russet it is though. Gormandine. Some more red apples. Domino. Yukon Gold. Gold Rush. Gold Rush. And Warba. We got 140 pound of seed to plant. Some Russian uh, purple fingerlings. I'm not sure the exact name of those. I got about a half pound of those. Uh, Yukon Gold, 10 pounds of them. Red Apple, got eight or 10 pounds of them. Gourmandine. Eight pounds, russets, uh, Kennebec, Gold Rush, Joe Warba. Domino blue, long blue, and Briggs blue. And a gorgeous little pint. I'm not Irish, but I can pretend to be.
Looks like I got a bit of work ahead of me in a couple of weeks' time. There's 140 pounds of sea potato there, and all that got to be uh, planted by hand. I do have a rototiller with a small attachment on it, but it's still going to be a lot of work. There's going to be more work to dig them up and fall. Anyway, we got we got 11 different varieties. I do have a couple more varieties I'm thinking about planting instead, and I do have some uh, Russian banana fingerlings. Uh, I might plant some of those as well, I'm not sure. But the 140 pound of seed, if I only get five pound for every pound of seed, I'll have 700 pounds of potatoes. In the fall. Anyway, I got quite a bit of work, quite a bit of uh, digging and planting to do. Hopefully May 24th weekend, if the weather's fine, we'll get them in. And uh, of course I'll be taking you guys along for the ride. Um, so that's in a couple of weeks time. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you found this uh, entertaining. Uh, if you did, please like the video. Click that thumbs up. If you're not already subscribed, just click that subscribe button. It really helped me out. And uh, thanks for tuning in. And I'll see you next time it looks at you.